Exciting news. Conway's announced the testnet of its new layer 2, BASE. And the graph supports indexing smart contracts on BASE testnets from day 1. In this video, we explore how to deploy a smart contract on BASE Girly, the testnet, and creating a subgraph that indexes it. Let's get started. First, we go to base.org. Here we can find all the necessary information about BASE. In order to deploy a contract on BASE, we need some BASE Girly ETH. Let's go to the docs and then we find the network faucets. Okay, cool. So there is actually a Coinbase wallet faucet where we can get some test ETH. So let's do that. So we are here, go to settings, developer settings, testnet faucets. Nice here, base girly, and then let's get some. I don't think we need to wait for it to come. So let's just go quickly to remix.ethereum.org and let's create a smart contract. So in Remix, we can just start a new project. Uh, we can do that by clicking on the plus button here and choose a template. I would say we go with the ESG721 NFT contract from Open Zeppelin, and let's make it mintable so everybody can mint here. Cool, we already here. There is the smart contract here, my token. We can now change it. Uh, let's just give it a cool name like base token BT. Can save and we see that now everything compiles here all right that's already it we can now already deploy in order to deploy the contract to base we just need to switch here the environment to the injected provider which is coinbase it asks me to connect so let's do this that looks good nice interaction and then Let's double check if you're on the correct um, chain. So we can go here to, to testnet, go to, to Curly. That looks good. All right. And then now we can just deploy. Before we can deploy to base Curly, we need to switch to base Curly. Okay, let's click here. Base Curly. Cool. And now we can deploy. All right, that looks good. Network based girly. Um, yeah, let's just do this. Cool, that seemed to have worked. Um, now the next step is that we can check uh, the ABI or extract the ABI. How to do that, we click here on the metadata of our new smart contract and the trick is to minimize here the ABI and then just select the square brackets. Make sure to not select that small comma here. We can copy with command C and then go into the terminal. I use the terminal, but you can use whatever um, editor you like. Let's token dot. Let's create the file, append, paste, and save. That's it for now. Perfect. Now the next step would be to create a subgraph for it. Let's go create a new tab, go to the graph.com. In the graph.com, on the top left, we see the product selector and we go to the subgraph studio to create the manage and publish subgraphs. That look, that sounds great. We can now connect the wallet. And again, we have the possibility to use Coinbase wallet. Let's click on this. It asks us to connect like before. Yeah, that looks good. Also on the graph, we need to sign that transaction. Mm, that makes sense. So this is a transaction that is safe. Uh, it's not a transaction. It's, a, it's just signing a message to log in. We can uh, add an email here, but we can also do that later. That would give us thousand free queries on the decentralized graph network. But now let's create our first subgraph. You can click here and create the subgraph. We name it similar like base token. 
select the blockchain here at the bottom of, of the test as we see the base testnet so that's good click on create subgraph perfect now we have the subgraph developer view we have the name uh, the developer that owns it that, that's that's me the slug that we will see later a deploy key we can upload an image we can have some metadata about it but let's leave that all just as it is for now what we need to do is to install the graph cli so we can copy that command and install the graph cli perfect make sure to have the latest graph cli installed like 0.42.2 or later the next step would be to initialize the the subgraph so we have now this graph command we can just copy that over again go to the terminal and just paste it here this is a init wizard that helps us to create the subgraph quickly so the protocol is ethereum because base is, is ebm compatible so it's the same we can go with ethereum then the slug as i said before like it's it's base minus token as we saw on the studio before we can create a directory let's have a set base token subgraph then an ethereum network to index this at the bottom again we find the base testnet so that's good now the contract address the contract address we see in remix here if you go again into this deploy and run transactions we see on the bottom that uh, the contract is deployed you can just click on this copy field and go, go over and paste and we have the contract address already here now the wizard tries to download the abi from etherscan but because we did not verify this contract yet we can specify the abi manually that's what we did here on the top so we can just do abis token.json unfortunately no autocomplete and it finds the wizard already knows which is the start block, so we can just go with that start block. We can give the name, it will be base token, the name of the contract. And then here the magic happens, we can index contract events as entities. Again, I would say true. Cool. Now the smart contract is being created. Perfect. We could add another contract, but I think we are good, we just start with one. That's it. In the Subgraph Studio, we, we see already the next steps. So we can run this graph off and have the deploy key set. And then we can follow the steps here, CD space token, and then do just uh, yarn code gen, uh, graph code gen and graph build, which generates some boilerplate code and also builds the subgraph web assembly code and then finally we can just copy the last step paste and the subgraph will be deployed let's follow the semware standard here and just give it the smallest patch number and now we have it here we see the studio already automatically updated and the subgraph is 100 percent synced we can now go to the playground and starting to inspect our subgraph here in the playground what i usually do is i go on this graphql explorer icon to see what we what we have the subgraph already created entities for each event so because it's a erc721 we have approves approval for all ownership transfers because it's ownable and transfers for nfts particularly interesting are usually the transfers so let's see what we have here top here are arguments for the query so we can for example say we only take the first 10 and on, on the bottom here we, we, we see the actual fields that we can query we have block number timestamp from id to token id and transaction hash let's send this query it's empty that is no surprise because we did not mint any token so let's go back to remix and start to mint the token so we can go here to deploy contract open this field and we have one of these is the save mint 
it's the save mint again we can open and here we can just mint it to ourselves uh, to in order to get the address we can go and receive and then we find the ethereum address here cool that's in my clipboard so i can just paste it here the token id we will start with zero cool let's mint that token cool we're still on base girly we can confirm and the minting is pending cool it looks like we minted our first token on coinbase base girly testnet and let's see what we have here wow the graph was already able to index it in the subgraph so we have it available here now the next step would be to start developing your dap or whatever you want to build on top of the graph and base girly network so in order to send graphql queries programmatically you can use that development query url that you find here it's a free url that you can use for your development but it's not meant to be used in production if you want to extend your subgraph you can simply go into the into the subgraph folder and start to explore subgraph and change it i use vs code but any editor makes a trick so when we look at the subgraph basically it, ha it has um, three important things it's, it's called the manifest or the yaml the schema and the source the actual mappings we see it here let's start with the manifest so the manifest tells the, the graph node what the subgraph is about we see here there is a name we see which network is indexed which which is the address of the contract that we are tracking the api and also the star block and also we see entities that we are interested in and event handlers as i said before particularly interesting for nfts are the transfer events so we can remove everything else so let's just remove this remove this and save now the next thing to look at is the schema a subgraph schema is basically a description of the database how we want to store our data for every event there is one entity or table created an nft has approval and approval for all events so we don't need these in this in this example and the ownership transferred also not we are not interested in that we just want to see the transfer so we can just remove them we could also now extend the schema here add new entities and so on but this should be a quick tutorial so we don't go into deep into this and if we look into the mappings which actually bring everything together which is the the logic that is triggered by the events and then stores data in the blockchain again we see the same these these are like predefined boilerplate mappings for us we can remove the others that we don't need anymore go here and remove them and just look at the transfer so it is it is assembly script but it really looks similar to typescript we can even uh, command click on these functions to explore the the api that we can use here but simply said here a new transfer entity is created we create a unique id so we concatenate the transaction hash plus the log index that's definitely unique um, and then we just store the from to and token id from the event plus stuff about the block from the block the block number the timestamp and the transaction hash that's it now the subgraph is updated so we can simply do again graph code gen and graph build and then run graph deploy studio base token now we need to increase the version num number we can go back to the subgraph studio we see already we have the version number two if we go to the playground and we, st we start to inspect we see that we only have the transfers left so we can again send these uh, the query and everything is here as expected but the subgraph is just slimmer that's it for now we can extend the subgraph we can build stuff on top of it everything here on the base girly testnet from coinbase 
Happy Hacking.